Hello. Okay, as you can see here, I'm using an SMG. I'm in a Uzi with silencer, a Spaz 12 with holographic sight, sleight of hand, stop and power pro, and ninja pro. Um, okay, this is my second ever commentary and my second commentary of the day. Um, I wasn't too happy with the first uh, commentary that I did. The footage wasn't the best, and I think I played a little bit better uh, in this one. And I got told to be careful uh, about breathing down the microphone. Uh, and I'm trying to make sure that I don't do that this time. And uh, I'm speaking quite quietly because there's other people in the house. And um, frankly, uh, I think this is a little strange, to be honest, speaking to myself uh, into a microphone. So I'm trying to keep it down so they can't hear. Uh, so yeah, this round went pretty well. I usually use... Um, scavenger rather than sleight of hand um, mainly because I hate running out of ammo which is exactly what I do in this video um, but to be honest I'm not a professional player so I die quite a lot anyway so um, you know uh, not having uh, loads of ammo isn't really an issue um, not to mention you can just pick up another gun and um, I've heard a lot of the more professional people on YouTube, professional commentators, saying that um, using scavenger is a bit, you know, of uh, a camper's perk because obviously it means you can camp in rooms. Uh, this is a bit better gameplay than my last one but um, there's quite a few newbie mistakes that I make, mainly because I'm not concentrating uh, and I'm distracted at one point. Um, I'm sure we'll reach that point in a minute. So there's uh, an idea I've got is uh, maybe uh, people watching these videos could... Uh, oh, there we go. I absolutely hate it when this happens. But it's quite funny in this, uh, in this instance. There's someone right there. It's a bit of a, uh, bit of a standoff here. I've been playing Red Dead Redemption, so... Ah, uh, pretty good at these standoffs there. <laughs> but I get this guy. There we go. Pretty lucky. He had a shotgun, so I was lucky that I got that guy. But yeah, um wondering if my viewers could give me some suggestions, uh some weapons they'd like to see me use. Um I'm not quite sure what I do here. I go in ahead and pick up a, another shotgun, um and then I go to run to pick up that UMP. Fail for some reason. Um and just run back here, pick up this Scar H, uh, red dot sight. I'm not sure I get many, if any, kills with this gun. I'm fairly sure I get knifed. Now, um, for some reason, my I, I don't have the instant instinct to knife someone when they're close to me. Um, for some reason, it's not you know instantly what I jump to do. What I instantly jump to do is shoot rather than press E or whatever the button is on console to knife. At this point I was distracted by something, I don't remember what, um, so that was a pretty pathetic Predator missile, but there was nothing to attack anyway really. Get tubed there. I don't personally really have a problem with uh, noob tubes, or grenade launchers, whatever you want to call them, because uh, at the end of the day they're just another weapon. Um, and they're in the game, so I don't see a problem with using them. Absolutely terrible grenade and uh, stun grenade there. Get my ass knifed. As you see there, I had a chance to knife that guy, but as I was saying, my first instinct isn't to knife. Uh, get a nice two kills there, and then get tubed again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was, I was, well, maybe it's just practice, but I don't know what you guys think. Um, I've seen a lot of the other uh, better players than me. What they do is they pretty much instantly just knife the guy um, rather than shoot them, they don't seem to really hesitate. As soon as they see a guy in front of them, they'll they'll knife them straight away. But for me, I you know, I hesitate and I go to shoot them and usually get knifed myself. But maybe that's, you know, just something I need to work on. Um not much special about this gameplay to be honest. Yeah, when you're watching commentators on YouTube you uh you don't really notice how much talking skill I suppose it must take. Now this sucks, I've just seen while watching this um, I saw that guy run off to the left but for some reason while playing I thought he was still there and I was trying to pick him off but oh well, shit happens. But yeah, um, 
these commentators they, they just talk and talk and they've got shed loads to talk about but it's uh, if you don't have much to talk about then uh, I guess that's fine as well so there may be a few awkward silences something I'm quite good at in real life as well it's a talent of mine I'll just enjoy my coke while I wait for something interesting to happen on screen so I can comment about it I actually really like this weapon. Um, I usually use the red dot sight, but for some reason I prefer the iron sights on the uh, Uzi. I'm not sure why. And the uh, whenever I play a game, uh, I remember in Counter Strike 1.6 and Source, if I had the M4, I'd always put the silencer on. For some reason, it made it just more enjoyable to use for me. Um, so I'm not sure why that is. For some reason, it makes it feel more accurate because it's got that sort of that piercing sound. Oh, there we go. There's another example of my my hesitation to knife. That guy was right in front of me. I could have knifed him quite easily. But, um... Oh, this sucks. I remember this. There we go. I should have had that guy. But luckily I get my revenge. Ah, here's an example of me trying to knife. There we go. By quite epically fail. I should have had that guy, to be honest. Sometimes it just doesn't lunge. Now, something I tried on this match um, was I was I was talking about in my last commentary about how uh, some people they know where the enemy's going to spawn. Um, I hadn't really thought about it before, but this time I thought. Well, just use some common sense, you know, where are the your team on the map and then you know, where are the potential places to spawn. That could have been seriously epic, but I got two of them. That's not terrible. But yeah, I used a little bit more initiative in this game and um I found it really helped. And uh to be honest, knowing where someone's gonna spawn and where the enemy are is uh, just, you know, power of deduction just see, you know, where everyone else is and that's the end of the game unfortunately we lost, but I thought I did alright um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, put some suggestions of some loadouts you'd like to see and see you in the next commentary